In what can only be described as an unexpected turn of events, a discovery about the history of former President Barack Obama has surfaced, and it has caused quite a stir. In a recent interview, Obama's biographer David Garrow revealed that the former president had admitted that he had fantasized about having sexual encounters with other men in a letter that he had sent to a lover. This unanticipated discovery has resulted in a flurry of conversations and arguments being carried out across a variety of platforms. According to Garrow, Obama penned the letter during his earlier years, when he was in the process of discovering who he was and where he fit in the world. It is imperative that it be made clear that the aforementioned findings do not in any way suggest anything conclusive regarding Barack Obama's sexual orientation. Instead, they offer a window into the psyche of a young man who would go on to become one of the most powerful individuals in the history of American politics. The revelation has provoked a diverse array of responses from those involved. Some people believe that it is a private matter that ought to be kept that way, while others believe that it is an important piece of information that helps to our comprehension of Obama as a person and as a leader and should be made public. Regardless of how one feels about the matter, this information presents another facet to the picture we have of Barack Obama's private life. This serves as a reminder that our leaders, just like the rest of us, have complicated personal histories that have influenced who they are and how they view the world. As we dive further into this narrative, it is necessary to keep in mind the wider repercussions that this may have. What kind of effect does this information have on the way we see Barack Obama's legacy? Does it bring new light on how we should understand his presidency? And what does this tell us about the private lives of people who are in the public eye? These are not simple questions, and there are no straightforward solutions. We would want to ask you to participate in the dialogue as we continue to investigate this topic and the consequences it has. This is a narrative that has far-reaching consequences, not just for Obama, but for the way that we understand our leaders and the personal history that they have.